Alex. Hey, I'm Bob. And this is, is Alex, Alex and Bob's, Bob's Cooking Show. <laughs> Step number one, get yourself a big bucket. You know what time it is, Bob? Huh. No, what time is it? It's time to go over our ingredients. Let's go! Here's all of our ingredients. All-purpose unbleached flour. Yeast! Salt! Water! But we're gonna spice up our recipe. Here are some ideas to spice up your own recipes. Sesame seeds! Oats! Italian seasoning! Pumpkin seeds! A habanero pepper! Coconut can! Banana! Cat! Cat eye! The first ingredient we're gonna add is three cups of warm water. A tablespoon of salt. Next, we're gonna add a tablespoon of yeast. Next, we're gonna add six and a half cups of flour. You can just dump that bad boy in there. We decided to spice ours up with pumpkin seeds. Sesame seeds, oats, and Italian seasoning. Next step is to mix it up. You want your dough to be goopy. You know it'll look goopy because of the way it looks. If your dough is not goopy enough, add just a little bit of water. If it's too goopy, add a little bit of flour. You know it's at the right consistency when it takes this long to say goop as it falls off. Goop! Is this how goopy your dough looks? When your goop is goop, it's time to let it rise. Cover your goop and let it rest for two hours. Two hours later. After letting it rest for two hours, go ahead and take your bucket and put it in the fridge for about eight hours. Tomorrow for sure. After eight hours, our dough is all rested and now it's time to bake. You want to preheat your oven to 450. Today we're going to be baking on pizza stones, but you can use any old cookie sheet. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to dust the surface of your pizza peel, then you're going to dust the surface of your dough and make sure there's a good amount on your hands. You put flour on your hands so that the goop doesn't stick to your hands. But don't use too much flour because it'll dry out the goop. Grab a big handful of your dough. If you need to, you can grab a knife. Cut off a little bit. So you're going to be working the dough into a ball, trying to make the top surface as smooth as possible. Plop it down on your pizza peel. Hey Bob! How's yours coming along? Well, it was my first time making one, but I think it turned out pretty good. Now that your dough is formed, it's time to let it rest for about 20 minutes. When baking the bread, Add a cup of water to a pan underneath where the bread is cooking, and the water will evaporate and keep the bread from getting dry. Before putting your dough in the oven, add a little bit of flour on top and give it a score with your knife. Once your dough is rested for 20 minutes, put your goop in the oven so it can get hard. We're going to bake our bread for about 20 minutes. Or until it's golden brown. Bob. Hey, thanks. What's 
opposite side of the oven, the inside of the dough is actually still cooking. So wait for it to cool down or drink it hot. Thanks for watching Alex and Bob's cooking show. The ABCs of yum yum in your tum tum. Tune in next week to see what's cooking. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and comment what else you want to see us cook. Until, Until next time. time.